Hey guys, it's Tartan coming at you again with another game of Hardcore Minecraft. But of course, well, we've got to start another world, so that's just what we'll do. Hardcore, I don't think I need to ever change these settings, right? I think it's just, yeah, we just make it to Hardcore. I should name it. No. We'll <laughs> just call it World. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll rename it if it ever needs a name. I like the swirly little thing. All right, so just take you to look around. We got a dark forest on one side. We're sort of high up, and what we want to do is just find where the tree is. Here we go. And uh, of course, since we started on top of a tree, which is fairly unique, we're just going to be able to uh, mine the tree from right here. Three. Oh, I, and then I put it right back down. Wow, amazing. In my head, I had already made the crafting table. And I need to break one more in order to make more planks. Oh, I'm in a dark oak tree. That's why it's a large one. That makes sense. And then a wooden axe. And now we're just going to uh, take the crafting table with us. But we're going to probably cut down the tree because well the primary concerns when you start a game are where am I where am I going is this my beautiful house is this my beautiful house that is now burned down and uh, can you eat this mushroom I'm gonna go with probably yes I was going to say, I don't know how high up the mushroom is. But looks like this is going to be another beautiful area. But we are right here at the, the border of the sea. So going to be able to plank up, get here, make doors if the need arises. And now... Just gonna say I need a uh, stone we've got exposed stone right here so I think that's what we'll do um, oh wait no that is not what we'll do I have to get a wooden pickaxe in order to mine the stone there's an order of things and really I could have uh, made a shovel as well but I didn't consider it that important because you don't really get that much of a benefit when you're only cracking a couple of uh, of stone and I figured that it would be better uh, for speed to just ignore it move a little bit forward need more sticks how embarrassing and now we've got a decent pickaxe and a decent real axe and I'm going to forego making a sword no, we'll make a sword because the resources cost us virtually nothing. And I think you eat mushrooms. Am I hungry yet? No. So basically, we're going to uh, take to the ocean immediately and try to see a sheep along the way. And if we don't see sheep, then maybe just try to uh, make a make a break for it throughout the whole night distant island over there something was peeking out of the water here and i was thinking it could be a shipwreck it looks like it uh looks like it is a ruined nether portal so that's pretty good too massive dark forest in the uh, distance there and an old growth uh, spruce uh taiga looking place over there we've got a friendly dolphin not seeing any any shipwrecks around, which uh, making quick contact with the ocean is excellent. Just what I need. I know that I cannot mine uh, that gold yet, so we're just going to have to make a note of it. Four obsidian, enough iron to put together into uh, into one ingot. So that's going to be enough to get us a shield. And that is going to be excellent. So I, I need sheep. Need sheep for wool. And 
I don't want to get too far away from land. I'm still am looking around, uh, you know, both uh, to make sure I'm not going to drag my dumb self over a monument and raise the ire of some guardians, but also uh, looking for shipwrecks, which are, are the best way I've found in the early game to get good resources. I don't know if that's, of course, the, the case for the whole game. Uh, I think it's incredibly clear to anyone watching me that I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I, I I don't know what shapes to build things in. I have only a tenuous grasp of how mushrooms work. I did tell you that I know how uh, gold blocks work with pickaxes, and I even proved that I did by not screwing it up. And here we're going to, uh, when you crouch down on the ground, you get a little bit of increased speed. So we get a decent rod. Did I put, though those are not the droids I am looking for. So I need sheep. There is a cow this way. And where there are cows, there could theoretically be sheep. I, uh, I mean, theoretically, right? Can I eat these mushrooms? I cannot eat the mushrooms. They are not edible. I I would rather eat the raw beef than eat my golden apple for this. All right. Maybe, maybe I'm going to have to eat the golden apple because I have a skeleton to fight. So golden apple, let's go. All right. It gave me some hit points. All right. So, the good news is that I uh, made it through that. The bad news is, why was I even taking that fight? I should have I should have ran away the other way. I am out of food again. I need to drop my crafting table. I am covered in arrows. That is hysterical. Oh, poor girl. <laughs> oh, feels bad. But on the upside, I already have a bow. And I have plenty of planks, so I'm going to be able to make a shield. And then the next time I get into a brawl like that, I need to eat my bread. I am low on hit points. There we go. Now we are properly breaded up, and we'll be able to uh, to equip the shield and feel happier about what we're doing, which is very nearly uh, losing this run super early. Now I'm out of uh, food again, or rather of uh, food concentration, so we are just going to fish with an axe. This is totally, totally a legitimate and smart way to do things. I have to be conscious, of course, that the raw fish is unlikely to give me tons of food back, but I just needed uh, the full amount, and it looks like I don't have it. So I'm in relatively great danger. My food is going down. There are skeletons in the ocean. Not in the ocean. There are skeletons on the shore here, at least in some of the places in the trees. But here we go. I, of course, now can cook some things, so that's good. Uh, the problem is uh, several several problems. Uh, one, I left my boat. Two, I don't have enough stone uh, to make a furnace. Three, I don't have wool for a bed. So this is like a catastrophic failure. But on the upside, I have enough food uh, to replenish my health this one single time. And I have a shield. And that's just going to have to be good enough. I really need more food. And uh, here we go. I need to either just make a, make a shovel and dig down to find exposed, uh, or rather to expose some stone. There's always going to be stone. Or I could keep running like I'm doing and running out of uh of resources potentially um all right so i already ate the bread i need to uh probably need to bite the bullet because yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna be like really really toasted soon if i don't get with it i uh i mean night's gonna be falling relatively quick i don't have a single torch and i don't have a bed so,
The one thing I do have going for me is a very, very sketchy grasp on how anything in the game works. And a little bit of coal. So we're going to be able to cook the beef. And make a couple of torches. And that is, uh, you know, I might have to... Uh, I might have to think that's good enough. But the good news is now we will be staked. Fully staked for the day. And oh my goodness, you know, man, is is meat ever tastier once it's cooked? Uh, so, some notable exceptions aside. But now we'll, we'll be in a lot better shape. You know, now we have a proper shield. We've got an axe and a gold axe, which is a must, much worse damage, but a faster attack speed. So we're going to go with uh, the regular stone axe most of the time, I think. That'll be the play. And the, uh, the sun is trying to set. So I don't really have enough food uh, to be striking out for the night because I mean nothing I find is going to be edible right and I didn't make a shovel so I'm going to try to dig out this way and then um, I mean who knows how this is gonna go I think we all do I think we all know how it's gonna go because of course if I can't find a bed and I can't well, I'm going to have to get out here for the night. So, uh, item one, a little bit of torch coverage. Item two, we're just looking around to see if there's any uh, other wildlife here. And now, down to the last torch. This is, you know, not perfect light coverage, but it's sort of fine. And we're just going to sort of uh, try and... Make the best of it by getting some more uh, torches. We've got our pit here, and we've got just like a little bit of food. We'll we'll just uh, go ahead and okay with the with the abilities that I have. Wow, we're going to go ahead and. Uh, and remember what it's all about. Just making crafting tables and forgetting them. Being embarrassingly bad at crafting. So I can make uh, boots or a helmet. I think we'll make uh, the boots some stylish kicks. Always good. I would rather have a pair of boots than a helmet for uh, general survival. Although both have, uh, have their needs. Or rather, both solve uh, some problems. Oh! I could uh, I could fish uh, for food here in the night. Brilliant. Uh, so I'm probably gonna sit here for a bit and fish, and that that'll be a funny little thing. I don't know if fish will bite here. They will indeed. Oh, you get an advancement for that, which I probably should have known. There's there's fishy business. So the interesting thing about this, as I say, as I turn this into a fishing simulator, is that now I've found a useful thing to do to get through the night. I have, I'm going to have like a, a chunk of charcoal here. And we're going to be able to uh, cook, cook a little bit of salmon there, a little bit of cod, and uh, just... Uh, do this and once I get a couple of more foods then I'll I'll run up topside and uh, try to get a little more torch coverage get into a brawl and see what's going on so I am not an expert in fishing uh, either in real life or Minecraft I I should say that I've been fishing many many times uh, although not very many in recent years I, I'd say Oh god, been been a long time now since I've been fishing, but uh, when I was a child, I would go fairly frequently. Uh, never like this. Never, never at nighttime, surrounded by giant mushrooms with uh, with music. There's really never music whenever we went fishing. Uh, of course, I think that's pretty typical. Uh, my father, like many fathers, would lie and say that the fish could hear. Um, I don't think he expected me to believe him, but it's always a, a funny little, 
a funny little untruth. The idea that that fish are listening to you on the surface, but all right. What are mushrooms good for? Okay, so I need brown and red mushrooms and a bowl, and the bowl you get uh, just from planks. So I'll just go and find some red mushrooms, and then I'll be able to make even more food. And that'll be nice. All right. We're all ready. We've got a couple of cod. And that means time for a fight, potentially. Just a little bit more uh, light coverage there. All right, it, uh, it looks like maybe there aren't so many baddies up here. That's nice of them. Give me a nice little uh, comfortable space between them. But we're going to uh, knock down this red mushroom because we need some red mushrooms to make mushroom stew. I think I have to be at a crafting table for that. It looked like it was uh, three in a row rather than anywhere. But uh, perhaps I can make it. No, okay, yeah. Not shape dependent, apparently. But they don't stack? Oh, misery! That's, uh. That feels bad. I, you know, maybe it's pretty good food. I, uh. I mean, who doesn't like a nice mushroom stew? I, I know I sure do. Uh, but. So. The real answer is inventory space decent. We've got plenty of wood now. I just need to get a little bit more charcoal. We'll fish while it goes, and then we'll uh, strike out onto the ocean. I mean, I think. I think night's going to be over before too long. But we'll uh, we'll just go towards uh, towards the spruce area, maybe, and try to find sheep there. Because the thing about the dark forest is that is it properly called that? Yeah, the dark forest is that it's like the name says it's dark. So even in daytime, you run into to some jerk skeleton who's trying to give you a bad time, and uh, you know maybe you don't want that. Maybe you just want some sheep, because if I don't get the sheep uh, soon, then there's going to be phantoms. I don't know how long it takes, uh, but you can only do a couple of days. But fortunately for us, we found this fishing pole in that uh, that undersea uh, place, and that's, uh, that's very nice, because otherwise, you know, this would have been a much more uh, dreary night. Obviously, once I got the uh, the topside situation sorted out, the angle here would probably be, like, essentially impossible for a skeleton. Because once I go, like, right here, they would have to come all the way down, which would be a little clumsy. And uh, obviously, there are mobs in the game that could pop me, but if there's uh, nasty ender bros, we could go down here. I'm just looking around real quick. Uh, for iron in the exposed uh, shaft there, because if there was, we could uh, use some of the fabled door technology in order to access it. But I'm just going to crack some stone here so that we won't need to get any whenever we strike out uh, for land. This is going to be enough to let us get a handful of uh, furnaces, a, a miniature handful. And now we've got an absolute ton of torches, so we're just going to go up, mine some more wood, and uh, and then look for uh, for sheep or a fight. But actually, looks like we'll be looking for the sun, so it'll be a lot easier to look for sheep. And apparently, uh, items like to fall pretty quick, but then they, they often float up towards the, the top. So I throw my axe down, a familiar sight to anyone who's watched me is... Uh, 
me dropping items onto the ground as if I meant to, but actually, you can tell that I didn't. But I think we're going to, uh, we're just going to strike out in that direction. See if we can find anything. It seems okay. Take one last look over here. There were several uh, cows and such that spawned on this beach, so... Or not beach, but beach area. So I was relatively hopeful that we might find some sheep. A spider is also very good. A uh, string is nice. Though we already have a bow, but, you know, string's still nice. Alright, so rather than running along, I think it's uh, much wiser to get in the boat. I don't think you lose uh, hunger when you're traveling in the boat. Alright, so what I need is iron, obviously. So with iron, I can mine the gold blocks and get richer and feel cool. Uh, gold, of course, you could turn into uh, anything. It could even be gold. But here, there's lots of coal, and we're ignoring all of it. Looking like we got a stony shore going on, or at least a stony side of a shore. And jackpot. This is two separate iron veins. It looks like one very small one. Let's hope this one is a little bit larger. Ah, two's not bad. Um, our first iron obviously always goes to the shield and after that we are going to want to just save some i don't love that sound we're going to get into motion don't love that sound at all of course it's raining uh but mobs don't act wonky just during the rain at least not that i've witnessed if it starts thundering and lightning, then you got to be worried. But this is uh, our target biome uh, anytime we start out, at least nowadays. So the ocean is good, source of food, um, source of happiness and comfort. If you get on a boat, mobs can't catch you. If you're on a boat, you don't get hungry as you row, I don't think anyway. And that's real nice. We've got five iron already. Um... We could smelt it. I would prefer to wait until we get a little more. Oh, okay. Lush cave. One of those weird trees. Azalea leaves. Maybe they're like the game indicator that there's a lush cave around. Because the azaleas do grow in there. But I think, I think now we've got our answer of where we're going to go first in this one. First things first, though. I need to find a bed. I am getting distracted by my dreams. And here we go. More exposed iron. Stony shore, you never do me wrong. This is going to take us to seven. Eight would be the disco number, of course. Eight's what you want uh, to make an average amount of your dreams come true. With eight, you can make your armor, which is, of course, obviously the biggest single addition. I don't love that sound. Something about the uh, the faint uh, gurgling of the ocean made it seem ominous, not like the normally super safe ocean sounds. Am I stuck? What is going on? Okay. Um, uh, maybe maybe my button on my keyboard uh, got stuck or something, but it was acting real weird there for a second. Maybe I was stuck. Uh, my my uh, character model was stuck in something in an odd way, perhaps. But rather than going up top here, because it looks like this is split oddly, there doesn't look to be uh, much of the biome on that section. And it looks like it got segmented over to here. So that's where we're going to go and check it out. And when we get there, cinematic shot of uh, this person. I really should look up what the character is supposed to be called. Because I do not know. I know Steve is the name of the one guy, but I also know that this person is not that one guy. And I could ask literally half of the people I work with who would be delighted to uh, 
to share the the Minecraft news with me. All right, now we've got a big uh, plains area. So, first things first. Delicious cows are delicious, and not that alarmed at being struck. All right, now he's alarmed at being struck, but a little too late. Um, any place with cows uh, will also spawn sheep, I think, but I'm not sure. I don't really relish uh, another bold night. I left my boat. I left my boat. I'll be all right. We'll try to uh, look around. There's a bunch of horses there, which are, of course, not sheep. They're not sheep at all. Here we go. These are the sheep of legend and dreams. And my axe. So now, finally, after all this time, three sheep later, with a mighty drop kick, we leave the sheep chops on the ground. We just need to furnace up right here. Oh, I did the thing. I did the thing where I used other charcoal up. Smart. Awesome. You know, it's okay. It is not the end of the world, or even the beginning. However, I very much need now to get some wood, because you can't make a bed without wood. But once I get this bed situation sorted out, I mean, really... Gotta have a, a good feeling about everything once the, once the bed gets sorted out. And then uh, I think what we'll do is, you know, obviously smelt things up. I need to... Uh... I don't love that open area there, so... First, have a nice mushroom stew, and then every time you eat it, there's a bowl left over. That's also, like, a little bit annoying. So now, uh, we are going to make some oak logs into planks. Make our first bed. Amazing. Shocking. Brilliant. Sticks, ditch the leaves, get a shovel, finally. Ten years later, make a shovel. But, you know, I didn't think I needed one immediately, and I didn't. I mean, there were a couple of times when it would have been legitimately quicker, obviously better, but, you know, in general, whatever, didn't need it. So, we set up here, and then we, uh, we think about going to the lush cave for uh, the expeditions uh, going forward. I guess that's uh, the play. Or no, shipwreck scouting. Oh, I like that. What a nice door. I, you know, I, I've found dark oak wood before, but I haven't used it too much for building. I like that door. That is a nice door. Cook our beef up. It's going to get us to, like, 10 food units. Or actually, what am I doing? I need to cook this iron up. That's what I need to cook up. So, just looking around, we've got some pretty cool stuff. I like that exposed lush cave, although that was back over with the dark forest that we left because I needed, uh, uh, you know, to pursue beauty, like this little uh, meadow uh, flower forest going on here. How nice, how nice of an area. And it just goes on so far, how lovely. I. Uh, Is this a proper flower forest? Yes, indeed. And they're just so beautiful. You get like all of these lovely shocks of color all over the place. And down there we've got magma blocks. 
Goes down sort of far, a little bit scary. We've got a little bit of exposed iron right there. So we're just going to take a look around, make sure there aren't any foes that are just like right around us, because I don't really relish uh, a fight underwater. We're going to door right here. And there we go. A little bit of iron. It almost looked like that was a smart move. I mean, obviously, if I had done it quickly, it would have been pretty sick. But, you know, feels good. Got a little bit of iron, and the sun is about to go to sleep. And that seems like an excellent time uh, to end this video. A couple of tense moments. A couple of, of really, really tense moments. But ultimately, you know, totally fine. And nothing to worry about. We're going to get uh, some good light coverage before... Before it really crashes and... Hey, buddy. What are you doing out here? Let's travel together. We'll be pals, you and me. And I'll keep you safe. You'll see. Come on, buddy. And, uh... Now, as uh, the most important part of the playthrough is done, the ritual seed to Garuda, I just wanted to say uh, sweet dreams to me. An advancement has been made. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, you know, it's never, never feels good to lose a Minecraft world, but it always feels good to start another one. So... Uh, just really glad to share this with you, and I hope you've had as good of a time as I've had uh, with this. And that uh, I hope I'll see you in the next one.